Hi Diana, it's Isabel on your terrific Tuesday to give you some motivation or things to think about regarding our Ashtikam discussion. Si nous pouvions changer le monde, on le ferait encore. I really appreciated your statistics and giving information for our viewers to see how malaria is actually so preventable, like so many different diseases out there, so many different issues out there, that with just a couple of coins, you can make such a big difference in somebody's life. I wanted to share with you how I went to the Green Festival over this weekend because I am a big green nerd about everything from social issues to green issues to just human rights and how the earth and humans interact with each other. Try different things made out of hemp. Hemp milk, hemp butter. It was green, but it was still pretty good. It tasted like peanut butter, but more hempy. I, I tell you to try. It's, it's good. It's not gross. It's just, it sounds gross, but it's good. I then tried some organic cheeses some vegetarian food, because I'm vegetarian, and uh, I saw somebody make bread from pedaling a bike. I'm actually going to post the Thoughts From Places video on my other channel down below. I still have to make it, but I'm putting it down below so you can check it out on my original channel on Bella V92. But it was really, really cool, and uh, it's, it happens once a year through different major cities in the U.S., and it's a really great place to just get inspired by all the ingenuity from different places and different organizations. To be more concise, I got this. And what this is, is a wallet. And it's made out of recycled plant materials and different snack boxes. You can actually see, like, the nutrition facts on there. You might have noticed that on the back of your tag of a lot of your clothes, you'll see that things are made in China, made in India, made in Thailand, made in Bangladesh, made in Pakistan, made in every other country, but not really knowing where they're coming from. So, what I'm trying to d get to here with my digressions is fair trade. You might have heard of Free the Children, and it's one of my favorite organizations, and I got this from their Me To We branch, where they create clothes that are fair trade, that are sweatshop free, so no little kids are getting their education taken away from them, but they're actually going out and um, getting an education while the adults and other kids out of school are getting jobs by making t-shirts or recycled things. This is made out of bamboo, I don't know how they do it. It says, be the change, like from that quote by Gandhi, be the change you wish to see in the world. And it's really, really soft. If I could, I'd be like, soft. But yeah, try your best. Just be responsible style. What I'm trying to get at is fair trade, with fair trade is that being a smart consumer, a smart buyer, and researching where your things come from is such a great thing to do because you get a relationship with the business owner, you get a relationship with the people that make your things, and you know that you're out there helping things with things that you buy. And what greater thing you can do is, from our capitalist society in the U.S., is to go out into the world being a smart shopper, smart consumer, and learning about the things that you buy. That's why I buy organic, I buy fair trade as much as I can, and I know that even though with my just little old me, I'm making a little bit of a contribution to the world. So I'll see you tomorrow, Ron, and I hope to continue our discussion about different social issues that we're excited about. Also, Saturday is our special Saturday where we get guest viewers, guest subscribers to make videos and share with other people in the Ashikam community. Si nous pouvions changer le monde, on le ferait.